Yo developers, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be learning about the basics of React in just 5 minutes. Whether you're new to React or need a quick refresher, this video will get you up and running fast. Ready? Let's dive in. So what exactly is React? React is a popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It's maintained by Facebook and it's all about dividing your web page into reusable components to build dynamic and interactive web apps. React is pretty fast and powerful and it is widely chosen by developers to build their web apps. To get started, we're going to be setting up our React environment using Vite. This tool lets you create a React project in seconds. Since the time is tight, I'm not going to be explaining line by line on how to set up React, but instead I'll drop a link for you down below if you want to check out how this thing works. Let's create our first React component. So this is the React file structure and let's create our first React component. So component is basically a reusable part of your web page. For example, a button can be a component. You can create that component button and then you can use it wherever you like in your web page. In the SRC folder, I'm going to be creating a new file known as header.js. Here, I'll write a simple functional component. So let's just write hello React in this case. So here we are using the JSX syntax which is basically looking like HTML but is JavaScript under the hood. This allows us to build our UI in a declarative way. So we have to do this default export of our component which is basically a function that returns something like HTML. So whatever you return here, you have to always enclose it within a single tag. And if you don't want to enclose the whole thing in a single tag, you can also use an empty set of tags. So this is a basic React component. But before we dive into making our app interactive, let's talk about states and hooks. So simply, states are like some data for your component. And hooks are these special React functions that helps you use state and other React features in functional components. They are introduced in React 16.8 and have become an essential part of the modern React development. The most commonly used hook is useState, which lets you add state to your functional components. So it's basically adding some extra data to your components. Hooks like this make your code cleaner and more readable by keeping everything inside functional components without needing to switch to class components. Now let's make our app interactive by adding some state using useState. React gives us this hook to manage state in functional components. Let's see it in action. Here, useState creates a piece of state, count, and a function to update it, set count. Every time we click the button, the count increases and the React updates the UI automatically. Handling events in React is super easy. We've already seen it in action with our button's onClick event. Let's quickly add another event to show how versatile React is. Here's a simple toggle button. We're using conditional rendering to change the button text between on and off. React handles all the complexity behind the scenes, making your job easier. Now let's put it all together. I'll combine our header, counter, and toggle components into a single app. So for that, I'll have to import all the components from the respective files and then merge them in a single container and return it from the app. And there we have it, a simple React app composed of multiple components. You can see how React encourages reusability and modularity, making your code cleaner and easier to maintain. One last tip before we wrap up is React DevTools. This tool is a lifesaver for inspecting and debugging your React components. You can install the React DevTools extension from the Chrome Web Store. So that's React in few minutes. We covered creating components, managing states with hooks, handling events, and even composing a small React app. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And drop a comment below if you want more quick tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and happy coding.